Hello ladies and gents, Nash842 here and welcome back to Nier Automata. Now, I know it's been a while, but I have spent quite a bit of time uh, just sort of farming for bits I need to level up weapons on and off. Uh, for the most part, I've got all of the pod programs and all of the weapons, bar the ones that require quests. Uh, so, because uh, I wanted to do those on screen, so I've still got that to do. However, um, before we do anything else, I already know that there is an ending for 9S after the final battle, so I'm going to get in, I'm going to get that sorted out before I uh, do any of the quests and such I've got left to do. Right, and um, once I've uh, done this. Completely. I'm, I'm, yeah, sorry. Uh, once I've done this, I'm also going to be going for um, various endings just to try and get as much of this done as I can. So let's uh, let's do this. I am pretty sure that I... This tower is a giant cannon that's aimed at the human server on the moon. If we don't do something, all of humanity's remaining data will be destroyed. <laughs> so what? None of it matters. Or didn't you know? We aren't required in this world anymore. Humanity is extinct. That moon server you're so worried about was invented to give us androids something to fight for. And Yorha was created to perpetuate the lie. But in order to make sure no one ever learned the truth, we were designed to be killed. They built a back door in the bunker and programmed it to activate after a certain amount of time. The commander? Me? To be? Sacrificial lambs. All of us. Isn't that hilarious? Doesn't it make you laugh? Ninas, we- Shut up! You killed 2B. That's all we need to kill each other. 2B uh, hated to keep killing you. It caused her so much pain. <laughs> the 9S type is a high-end model. They knew you'd discover the truth eventually. But the model designation 2B was just a cover. The official designation? is 2E, number 2 Type E. They were a special class of members designed to execute Yorha units. But you knew that, right, Ninas? <laughs> Shut up. Shut up! <laughs> what do you know? You don't know anything at all about us! Proposal. Cease combat. Fighting her at this point would be a Pod 153! I order you to halt all logical thought and speech. This order shall remain in effect until you confirm the death of either myself or Unit A2. Right, I know we've uh, already seen that, but I just wanted to watch that as a kind of uh, refresher to what exactly was going on in this final fight. Um, yeah, and other than that, I think I've got the right chipset back in, but we'll find out in a moment. So uh, it's not like I haven't been playing this game. Why do I long for humans like this? Take care of 9S. Ah! <laughs> 
Fatal system error detected. Memory leak verified. Repair impossible. Beginning emergency evacuation of remaining memories. My name is... My name is 9S. A newly manufactured scanner model. January 30th... January 30th. 11942. Rolled out at 4.25am. Bunker time. fight for humanity with all my strength. The pleasure is mine, Commander. I lie collapsed. I lot oh, God, I can't English today. I lie collapsed in a space of blinding white. The pain is gone. The light envelopes me. It's so Warm. I was anxious. A soldier from the moment I was born, thrown into the world alone. Nothing to rely on. No God to believe in. I was alone. Tasked with infiltrating enemy territory to gather intelligence. In the fog. In the flames. Alone. My name's 9S. I'm here to provide support. 2B came off as being rather, rather aloof. Cold, even. She must have wanted to distance herself from me. I guess she didn't want to be attached to someone she had to kill, again, and again, and again. But... I... Scanners like me mostly work alone. Scouting out enemy lines and all that. Question remark. I can grammar. I don't usually get a partner. It's kind of fun. I was so happy to be with someone. It was like I had a family. My damage worsens. I start to lose my memories. The space fills up with pure white light. It's like being buried in snow. It's a little bit cold. A little bit frightening. Will my soul disappear? Dark fog clouds my vision as it ebbs and flows in its slow, dreamlike way. It gradually takes human shape. It's the red girl. She slowly begins to speak. This tower is a colossal cannon built to destroy the human server. Destroy the server and rob the androids of their very foundation. That was the plan devised by those girls. But they changed their mind. They saw us androids. 
they saw Adam and Eve. They saw how we lived, considered the meaning of existence, and came to a different conclusion. This tower doesn't fire artillery. It fires an arc. An arc containing memories of the foolish machine life forms. An arc that sends those memories to a new world. Perhaps they'll never reach that world. Perhaps they'll simply wander an empty sky for eternity. It's all the same to the girls. For them, time is without end. Adam and Eve are inside the Ark. Eve is asleep. Adam holds him in a gentle embrace. He seems to be smiling at me. I try to look up at him, but my body refuses to move. Looks like the damage has spread to my motor functions as well. Will you come with us? asks Adam. The question was completely free of malice. It seemed I had it seemed I no longer had a reason to hate machines. Maybe I never had a reason in the first place. What have I been fighting for? Who have I been living for? I don't know anymore. I try to speak my mind, but the words don't come out right. My thought routines are losing cohesion. I don't. I can't remember my name. I'm... Mustering all my strength, I force out the words. Um. I'll stay. I. We, your heart. We don't deserve to be loved by this world. to oversee the progress of Project Yorha is complete. Proceeding to final stage of project. Commencing deletion of all data. Wait, that's not supposed to happen yet, is it? Pod 153 to pod 042. Data noise present in stream. Requesting temporary halt to perform data check. No, not yet, because I think that leads to... Uh, 
the tr uh, true ending. Yeah, I didn't want to do that just yet. Yeah, okay, there we go. Yeah, that concerned me a little bit for a moment there. And the reason I haven't gone for uh, ending E just yet is because I know that's the true ending and uh, I'm pretty sure that deletes your save data. And I actually want to get some more of the, I actually want to get the endings first. So, yeah, we're not doing that yet. Okay, I've started off in chapter 6 too so that I can... um. Make a start on grabbing some of the uh, weapons I need Say to get. To what? When do you think you'll be willing to call me Nines? Nine S works just fine. Well, yeah, but. Gotta remember that I don't need to grab any more Man, items now. I've got everything I need. Rough sometimes, huh? We don't get to choose our assignments, and you should work on keeping your opinions in check. Your ha aren't allowed to be emotional, remember? I think some of us are better at that than others. Probably could have just run into Pascal's village to um do this. Okay, I've actually just got to wait for the um quest to activate. Then I think. Okay, what I'll do is I'll uh fast travel to see if that kickstarts anything into a motion or whatever. Report. Mail notification received from access point. Pod? Understood. I didn't say anything yet. The conversation between Operator 6O and Unit 2B has been analyzed. Hypothesis. Unit 2B wishes to send Operator 6O a gift from the surface, so that she might be able to experience it in some fashion. That's right. Proposal. The gift should be a photograph of a rare flower. You think? Analysis of historical data indicates that human females enjoyed viewing the reproductive organs of flowering plants. If Unit 2B can procure appropriate image data, it could be uploaded to the bunker. Proposal. Unit 2B should obtain an image of the plant known as the Desert Rose. Alright. Okay, that's that then. I also haven't actually talked to the strange woman yet and she's apparently got something new to talk about, so I'll sort that out quickly. Oh, it's you. Truth is, I've opened a little side business. Gotta be real hush-hush about it though. See, there are certain accolades given to a select few who really give their all. You know what I'm getting at. They're super tough to earn, which frustrates a lot of androids. So with the help of some select volunteers, my company unlocks them. It's a secret, but you can check it out if you like. Um... See, I've got no idea if that's a thing at all, or if that's gonna change my game. Two seconds. See you later. Okay, it's just actually literally paying in-game funds to unlock trophies. Report. No damage detected. I like that. Right then, let's get this sorted.
Pod, take a photograph of the Desert Rose and send it to Operator 60. Affirmative. Image data transfer complete. To be, this is Operator 60. Pick up! To be here. Go ahead. Thank you so much for the picture. So this is a desert rose, huh? It seems almost mystical. There must just be a bounty of nature down there, huh? Some, yes. I've seen lilies, cherry blossoms, daffodils, and even lunar tears. I'll try to send more if I can. Oh, to be. I'm going to treasure this forever. Oh, and I'm going to send you a proper thank you mail later, so keep an eye out for it. Bye! <laughs> That actually was faster than I thought it would be. Not that I'm complaining. Okay, that's one of the weapons and one of the pod programs I needed to uh, obtain. 2B, thank you for that lovely image of a desert rose. There are so many mysterious things down on Earth, huh? I'd love to head down there myself one day. Oh, and it's nothing fancy, but I've sent... I've uh, sent along a reward for you. Thanks again. Operator 6 0. Okay, now the next Leave crystal. Me alone, jackass. I can't deal with your weird hobbies anymore. Like, I care what you think, jerk. Might as well get this quest done. Here, follow me. Should be able to do this one relatively easily now, because I don't think enemies here are capable of dealing damage to All me. Alright, see that jerk over there? I need you to get combat data for him. Science will pay you back for this, I promise. Now, fight! Requested mission completed. I read all this out already. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I got to the last one where it was like defeat him in 30 seconds without taking damage. Which I didn't complete, so. Bloody hell. Bloody nasty. Got strewn hell. Do you know what I just discovered? The excitement we feel in battle is caused by a type of pleasure generating chemical product in our circuits. Anyway, I think I can localize this substance and turn it into a drug that will help expand our combat capabilities. All these advances and it's all thanks to you. See? I told you science was the best. 
Anyway, keep an eye out for that drug. Once I get it synthesized, it's all yours. Okay, I know exactly how I'm going to deal with the um, way to get that synthesized. There is a quest on this rooftop over here that I've actually figured out how to get to now that I want to do. Because that'll get me a power up part S, which will let me get my um, last pod up to level 3. At which point, I only need one more power up part uh, L to get uh, all three of them up to max level. Yeah, I'm too high a level for this. <laughs> not too shabby. Not too shabby at all. I am the warrior monk, Father Servo. And I seek the enlightened path through perfection in battle. Father Servo? But alas, there is only so much Father Servo is capable of on his own. Perhaps you would be so good as to aid a fellow on his spiritual journey. Uh, I'm not sure we should be helping a machine with combat training. Oh ho ho. Fear of the unknown clouds your mind, young one. What's in it for us? Father Servo shall impart upon you all of his secret battle arts. I don't know, TB. This seems pretty suspicious. What do you think? Let's help him. Because I want this. I want the items. Heaven smile upon Father Servo this day. Now then, let's just start with a light round of sparring. Enough. Father Servo yields. I don't think this guy is quite as tough as he lets on. Well, it was a nice workout, at least. Nice. Yes, well, good for you. Now then, as payment for this lesson, you must bring Father Servo at warped wire. What? Listen, you didn't say anything about Brit. We sparred, yes. You learned many things, yes. And surely an, uh... Emulant is to be expected. I'm pretty sure I pronounced that right. This guy is shameless. You should be able to retrieve a warped wire from the dinosaur-like machine roaming about nearby. Bring it here before our next bout, if you would be so kind. I've got all the items you need. I've looked it up, don't judge me. Ah, excellent. Now we can engage in a new form of training. Father Servo will accept your challenge whenever you feel ready. For a fee, of course. Of course. Right, okay, now I'm going to do this. Received from access point. Hey, thanks to you, I was able to create medicine using that research you helped me with. You should try it out if you find yourself some spare uh, with some spare time on your hands later. Ha, huh, I bet someone's here to try out my new combat wonder drug. I've already handed it out to a few folks, and man, is it ever popular. One taste and you're hooked for life. And yeah, it sounds bad when I say it like that, but your your heart bodies don't seem to mind. Sure, there are some side effects, like a horrifying destabilizing effect on one's psych uh, psyche, but none of that should be a problem for combat focused models like you. Anyway, the first round's on me. Check it out and let me know what you think. If you want more, go visit the Oha unit at the oil field in the desert. She was asking for the recipe, 
So I'm sure, sure she's cooking up a stash of her own. Well, now that that's done, let's see if Father Servo is ready. Yeah, I already actually had one of those items. For more, my child. Be warned, Father Server has used your previous gift to make himself stronger than ever. Would you like to test yourself against this new modification? Time is a great wheel, yet do not expect things to transpire as they did when we last met. When last we met. Stop, no more. Yes, I am ridiculously overleveled for this, I know. Whew, you happy now? Let us discuss the fee. Oh, come on. You're the one who wanted the test. Would you truly refuse a single request from this old monk? Okay, don't even start with me. Father Servo surrendered all worldly possessions and took numerous vows, yet you would deny him even a simple request. All right, all right, fine. What do you want this time? One memory alloy and one broken circuit. The world moves ever on, my child, so do not dawdle. Did you stop calling me that already? Yes, I have. Hey, I got that junk you wanted. Ah, excellent. Now Father Servo can modify himself anew. When you return, he will be stronger than ever. Oh, I can't wait for that. And yes, these chapter jumps are really handy. Yeah, I am going to try and wrap up my entire playthrough in this video, but I'm not sure if I'll be able to do that, just considering I still do have a fair bit left to do overall. But I'm going to make an effort. If worst comes to absolute worst, it will take me uh, this video and one more. How good of you to grace Father Servo with your presence once again. Such drive is admirable. Well then, do you care to witness the glories of this latest modification? <laughs> oh, I like the options for that, that's great. The Father Servo you knew has passed from this life, my child. Behold his latest incarnation. No more. Father Servo yields. So what do you want this time? More weird junk? To business already? My, my. I figured I should get it over with and save us both some time. You're a clever one, aren't you? Well, when the heavens offer... 
Is that pronounced soccer or sosso? I have no idea. That is not a word I've actually ever encountered. Um, it is poor form to refuse. For the servo, it requires a silver ore, a pristine screw, and a broken battery. Hold on, that's more stuff than last time. Error, error, bad file or pathway. Bzzzd. <laughs> Stop it. I know you're not broken. Let's go already. Have you brought the required items? We've got what you wanted. Pretty much needed a wheelbarrow to carry it all. That's me grumbling. Yes. Thank you, my child. With these items, the flesh of Father Servo will be so, 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 so powerful. Good, because I'm going to beat you silly next time to make up for all your stupid errands. And once again, I've got to kill a few more machines because apparently they keep coming out of the woodwork to disrupt this uh, access point. Again? I mean, bloody hell, what is the point of putting, a, putting an access point there when there's just constant enemies to disrupt it. Well, I can see Father Servo. prodigal child returns once more. Uh, this is that same weird monk machine as before, right? Oh ho, Father Servo has used the gifts of his flock to make himself powerful beyond imagining. Dare you taste the forbidden fruits of his labours? <laughs> oh, I love the, uh, just the selection of uh, the options for this. Father Servo is born anew. Enough, I say. Show pity on an old monk. Go on. Father Servo requires a gold ore, a piece of filler metal, a pristine cable, and a large battery. I don't know, TB. What do you think? I feel like all this fighting is a big waste of time. Plus, it's starting to get really expensive. It's not a waste. Our own skills improve each time we spar with this machine. Such wisdom. May the thousand blessings of a random and unspecified god rain down upon you. <laughs> I have brought the required items. One order of useless crap has requested. Oh ho, now Father Servo can finally achieve oneness with the universe. You don't say. Just wait, my child. When you return, Father Servo will be more powerful than you could possibly imagine. Okay, um, for some reason I thought that was the last one. I 
did not mean to attack that moose. Alright, let's go. Yeah, I do believe this is actually the last uh, Robo Dojo quest. have actually been um, kind of experimenting with different button presses now, so I kind of know how certain things work a little bit better than I did beforehand, as you might have been able to tell. Well, what think you of Father Servo now? You've uh, had a lot of work done. Indeed, and all thanks to you. Well then, I think you can face the full might of Father Servo's power. Then we fight. kind of slipped off the shoulder button at the start there, so I wouldn't be surprised if you heard that on the mic. Okay, we're done now, right? I mean, this has to be the end. Oh my child, how wrong you are. For if Father Servo wishes to be truly strong, he must stake his very life upon it. Oh, for the love of Grandfather Servo, no quarter. This will be a battle to the death. Prepare to die, my android child. Father Servo can be peace, but he has found a foe strong enough to withstand him. Here, your earthly reward. Thank. Target neutralized. It's over. Huh? About goddamn time! If I ever see that bossy robo-monk again, it'll be too soon, let me tell you. I suppose. <sighs> Stupid machine. All he cared about was getting stronger until we finally scrapped him. But now we don't have to see him ever again. What a relief. Indeed. Well, that's one more side quest done. Right, I think there might be a quest in the bunker I can go and pick up now. I know which one it is, but I've got no idea when it turns up, so... But first, I want to upgrade the third pod to level 3, just so that I know I've got that done. And that's that. Now I just need one more power up part L and I can uh, max them all out. Right, I think it was the hangar bay I needed to head to. Well, there's a quest marker there, so with any luck, that is, uh, that's the quest I'm looking for.
Yes, it is. 2B, is that you? Yes, but... Thank goodness, my name is 16D. My instructor, 11B, was one of your squad mates in the assault on the abandoned factory. I don't suppose she... She was shot down during the battle. I... I see. What a shame. She was the closest thing I had to a mentor. She was so strong and admirable. What happened to her body? I don't know. I know it isn't my place to be asking you this, but, well, if you happen to run across anything of hers, would you mind bringing it back to me? It's not a priority or anything, just if you have the time. Yep. I'll keep an eye out. Thank you. Pod, do we have any information about 11 bleep, uh, pff, 11B's black box? Negative, 11B's black box has yet to be recovered. She was shot down near the abandoned factory, right? Well, presumably I've got to head back to the abandoned factory for that. I'm assuming so. Well, it certainly seems that way. Um, yeah, I do also know that there's at least one secret boss I've got to fight. No, sorry, at least two secret bosses I've got to fight, I think, that are level 99. I think level 75 is like the minimum to be able to fight them. So if I do end up needing to go and level up, I'll uh, just farm the bunny robot in the... Um, oh, the amusement park square. Of course, I've just got one big random thing. Or oh, thing. Area. Of course, that makes sense, but you know. I hate just having to randomly search around. Last time I had to. T last time I had to do that, I was. Uh, I spent three hours running around blindly. idea of where I think I might be able to find what I'm looking for, but uh, I'm also pretty sure one of the uh, endings you need to get requires you to die in the prologue as well, which is going to be fun because I don't think anything's going to be able to damage me there. In my mind, it makes the most sense to go uh, head back towards the beginning of the factory. Yeah, you see, these things aren't really dealing any damage to me. Well, hopefully I'll be able to use self-destruct and then just jump off a high ledge to my death or something. to nothing, so we'll go down this way.
Ah, here we go. That's a Yorha unit. Analysis. Yorha Type B body confirmed. It belongs to the missing unit known as 11B. So this is where you landed. Pod, can you access her black box? Negative. Unit 11B's black box has been irreparably damaged. Hmm. Proposal. Unit 2B should recover any usable weapons. Fragmented data detected in memory region. Reactivation complete. A check of my body reveals various failures. Communication functions have been destroyed. I cannot contact my team or the bunker. I leave a draft of this message here as a log. I verify the plan once more, using my supposed destruction as uh, in this sortie as a guise. I, I serve raw communication. I then pass beneath the abandoned factory and escape. Further analysis reveals I took anti-air fire whilst in uh, the flight unit resulting in damage to my body. No matter, it can be repaired. I'm cold. My sensory systems seem to be failing. Noise has started to cloud my vision. Virus warnings appear frequently. It is unclear whether I'm infected or if uh, the system is in error. Repairs are proceeding poorly. Perhaps because I'm flustered. Pursuers will come if I don't move soon. Was I wrong to attempt escape? I'm scared. I want to go back to the bunker. But I can't restore communications. This can't continue. I can't stay here. I have to run. Your high squadron was wrong. I have to find somewhere safer. I'm scared. So scared. Painful. It hurts. Help. Why stop? Who am I? Wrong, wrong, wrong. I need to run. She was planning to go AWOL. Violation of regulations detected. However, due to the death of the unit in question, Corrective punishment is impossible. I'll bring this weapon back to 16D in the bunker. Yeah, it took a little bit longer to find the NIDA. Hoped it would, but... Yeah, I completely forgot that was actually a point in which I fought Engels the first time she started up the game. To me, that just looked like a pile of uh, impassable rubble. Do you know, that tends to be the case with those sorts of things. What am I doing? It's much faster to go this way. Right then, let's go get this quest finished off. Oh, 
2B. Hello. I found 11B's body, along with this weapon. The battle log is still intact on this. She must have fought right up to the end. I always knew she was the bravest of us all. Thank you, 2B. But I think you should keep it. You're a combat model after all, whereas I'm a defensive unit. I'm sure 11B would be happy knowing it was being put to good use. Alright. Um... You know, I kind of don't want to tell her, but... Yeah. There's more. I discovered some additional data in 11B's memory banks. Let me see. Wait, she was planning to abandon her post. Huh. <laughs> What's so funny? It's just that she was always such a hard ass, you know. To think she wanted to run away, just... <laughs> and what a miserable way to die. Serves her right for the way she used to heap abuse on me. She always looked down on me because I wasn't a combat model. And now... Thank you, 2B. Thank you for showing me this. Now I can dedicate myself to my job with a clear mind. Oh. Okay. Oh, and here, you should take this. I don't have a reason to protect myself anymore. Well, I didn't expect that. Okay, I'm now um, going to start from here, because uh, I think the next quest I want to do um, starts from around about this point. To be. That's an android. A Yorha type android. Alert. This unit is currently wanted by Yorha. Annihilation recommended. Annihilation? But why? Let's go, 9S. To be? Gotten a fair bit better at these hacking mini games. Bunker to 2B and 9S. We've picked up a signal from the black box of a fugitive known as A2. What you see in. Let's go after her, 2B. Damn! She got away. Operator, this is 9S. Patch me through to the commander. Roger that, 9S. I'm sorry, commander. We failed to defeat the fugitive. I see. Well, at least you're both safe. That's an incredibly powerful unit you just faced. You should probably keep your distance in the future. Commander, why did A2 desert the force? I'm afraid that's classified. Oh? Huh. To be? Yeah? Let's go ask Pascal about A2. He might know something. All right. Weather and wind? Yeah, I've already watched that. Nothing. Um, Pascal? 
Report. This is 9S. Affinity oh, you survived. How wonderful. Yeah, we're fine. But there's something we want to ask you about. Of course. Anything. Actually, it needs to be in person. Hmm. Understood. I'll open the gate we built to deter enemy invaders. You'll be able to reach the village through there. Come back here and do that later. Okay, maybe I need to go and talk to Pascal first. Let's uh, sort that out. Wasting my time right now. Yeah, I figured I might as well do it for, as though I was... Uh, playing the game in the correct order. That must be the gate Pascal opened for us. There we go. That's uh, got a meal to spawn yet. It's all good. Yeah, restarting chapters causes him to go back to his default position, at which point you've got to stop him again and. Uh, speak to him for the first time, or what is technically the first time. for me. It took me a while to notice, but Emil singing to his own, uh, to the sort of beat of his own theme there. Okay, 
Okay, that was actually what I needed from him there. Now, if I've done this correctly, I should be able to start a quest that'll uh, give me what I need. Now the reason I've actually chosen 9S for this bit is because uh, I'm after the rest of the uh, Project Gestalt reports. Um, I think I've got three left, I haven't read the other ones yet. I grabbed those off screen, uh, but I'm going to read them when I've got the other three that I need. Uh, and all of them require you to do a bit of hacking I think, so I figured I might as well get those sorted now whilst I'm doing this quest. Yeah, I think this could be what I'm looking for. Hmm, that's a strange flower. Analysis. It is a plant known as a lunar tear. A lunar tear. Huh? When did you get here? So this flower is called a lunar tear. Seeing that dredges up all kinds of memories. Some of them are a bit strange, honestly. Like the one where I'm being attacked by a giant boar over and over again. Or another where I keep trying out new parts every time my body is damaged. Sounds rough. Something about this flower fills me with an emotion I don't really understand. It's like something's pushing down on my chest really hard. So, um, do you mind if I ask you a favor? If you find Lunar Tears growing anywhere else, would you let me know? I want to try and figure out what this feeling is all about. What do you say? Aw, thanks! If you find another Lunar Tear, just let me know on this frequency, alright? I'm counting on you! Please tell me those are marked off on the map. Okay, thankfully they're marked off in little areas, so I've got a rough idea. The size of the commercial facility. The people of the old world must have led pretty good lives. I bet it was fun to shop back when you had I'm so pretty many sure choices. I know exactly where one of them is, so and that's sure in the um Once we eradicate the machine amusement life forms, park. us soldiers won't have anything left to do. We'll enter a new age of peace. And when that happens, we should go shopping together. I could buy you, I don't know, a t-shirt maybe? Something that looks good on you. A t-shirt? What? Not interested? Hmm. When that day comes, I'm all for it. That's a promise, right? Yep. as I thought, this is exactly where one of them grows. This is a lunar tear, right? We'd better let Emil know. Hey there, guys! What's up? We found a lunar tear. It's located at- Stay right there! I'm coming! Uh, okay. I hope he doesn't expect me to just stand here all day. Sorry to keep you! Yeah. Oh, hey! Now that I think about it, this whole area was once... Are you remembering something? It's all pretty fuzzy, but I seem to have a memory of caring for this flower a long time ago. But the sand kept expanding, and the flowers gradually wilted. Now that I think about it, that was around the same time I stopped seeing people. You mean humans? Thanks a bunch for finding this, really. 
Oh, and let me know if you find any more, okay? I'm gonna stay here for a bit. Hmm. Yeah, you know, it's uh it's easy to forget that Emil uh, was actually still around to watch the rest of humanity just die out. Okay, to the forest. Okay, now here's where I'll probably search around uh, blindly for a little bit and not find anything for hours. Because that was literally the only other Lunar tier that I actually noticed uh, just th through playing. But this should be interesting. There it is. It's a lunar tear. I'd better tell Emil. Hey there! What's going on? I found one of those flowers you were looking for. It's over at- Don't move an inch! I'm coming! Don't move? I'm actually kind of busy. Sorry to keep you! Damn, you're fast! Uh, that's it. I remember now. Back when the aliens first invaded, I fought as hard as I could to save Earth. You did? I think I had something I wanted to protect. Something really precious to me. But I don't know what it was. Thank you for finding this. You'll let me know if you find any more, right? I'm gonna stay here for a bit. I want to ask, was it Kaine? But she was probably dead by that point. Okay then, next is to the uh, flooded city. To the coast. Was one of those things. Hacking that. It's because that is so much easier than trying to take that down any other way.
There it is. It's a lunar tear. I'd better tell Emil. Hey there, what's up? I found a lunar. I'm on my way. Sorry to keep you. As speedy as always, I see. Oh. Oh. That's right. What happened here, Emil? I was fighting the aliens. It wasn't going well. So I decided to create multiple versions of myself to help with the fight. But the aliens just kept coming. I lost so many friends that day. It was a long time ago, but still. Say, Emil, how old are you anyway? I'm not sure. I didn't need that memory to fight. Thank you for finding this. You'll let me know if you find any more, right? I'm gonna stay here for a bit. Hmm. Okay, if I'm reading the map right, the next one is by the housing complex in the uh, desert. I wasn't reading the map right. I got it wrong. No, that was a complete waste of time. Okay, so it's... That was close. Okay, maybe it wasn't a complete waste of time. Okay, so I think I've got the general direction I need to go for this then. Ah, oh, mysterious lithograph 4. Ah, oh, there it is. I should probably tell Emil about this lunar tea. Sorry to keep you! I didn't even contact you yet. Uh. Emil, are you okay? I just remembered. I... Hmm? Uh. Thank you again. You've helped me remember an important place. Oh? A place 
very special to him. In thanks, I'll tell you how to visit it. Please take this key. What's it for? It'll let you access the elevator in the shopping mall. You should head there whenever you have the time. I'm sorry. I need to stay here for a while. You go on ahead. <laughs> okay, so I was right. I just kept going in the wrong direction. Right then. Now to go and complete this quest. Let's go back to the uh, shopping center. Positioning was all wrong. This must be what Emil's key is for. Oh my god. Wow. Look at all the lunar tears. Where are we? Thank you for coming. Emil, what is this place? It's the place from my memories that I worked so hard to protect. Or, to be exact, the place protected by the person I used to be. Uh, sorry. I don't get it. A long time ago, I was created to be a weapon. A weapon that could adapt to any environment and one capable of total destruction. You're... a weapon? When the war against the aliens started, I decided to strengthen that weapon by creating copies of myself. Interesting. So, in truth, I'm only one of a countless number of Emils. I, or we, I guess, worked with each other to keep our defensive lines intact. But the more of ourselves we created, the more our original memories began to fade. The original Emil liked this place a lot. He spent a lot of time here with people he loved. 
They were tough times, sad times, but the memories of that journey were his greatest treasure. And I have a few traces of those memories in my own mind. Where's the original Emil now? I don't know. There were so many of us that after a while, we just... Oh. And there's still something that all of us Emils need to settle. Hmm? <laughs> oh, right. I should probably repay you for all of your help. Please take this. It's said that a lunar tear can make any wish come true. Thank you. Oh, no. I'm the one who should be thanking you. You've helped me find some of my precious memories. Now I'll be able to keep pushing forward, even if I'm alone.